You have designed all the application components, but for you to be able to load them, you have had to manually go into the app.component.html file and define the component that you want to load. Of course, that's not the right way to do it, and that is what we're going to talk about in this part. Angular routing refers to the concept of navigating between different components or pages in Angular. Angular routing allows you to switch between different views based on the browser URL. We are going to first set up routing. Then we are going to set up a custom routing file. Then we are going to add a 404 callback page. And then at the end, we will add all the application route calls. Like for example, whenever we have the details button, we want to call the movie details page. Whenever we click the search button, we want to call the search page, etc. You will also learn about getting the route parameters from a URL. So let us start with the first section, which is to set up the default routing in an Angular application. For that, I'll just go to Visual Studio Code. And then in here, I'm going to navigate to the app.module.ts file. Then scroll down in here on the imports array. I'm going to add another module, which is the router module. Now in the router module, I'll use the for root method. And then inside here, we need to define an array of all the routes. So basically a route is composed of at least like the default values are going to be the path. So what is the browser you are going to be and the component that you want to load for that path. I'll just add the comma down here and now inside curly brackets, let us define our first path. So path. Whenever in the browser we don't have anything other than the local host, we want to load the component. So I'll just type in your component and that is going to be the home component. This is the first route definition. Then next, we can also define that whenever we want to have or whenever we have in the URL home, we want to load the home component again. You can also define other paths in here, like for example, whenever the path is details, you want to load the details component. So this way you can set different paths. Now, I'll just leave it with three paths because in the next part, when we are going to move this section to a separate file, then I'm going to define all the paths. So this is the first step. The second step is that you need to let the app.component.html file know about your router module setup. For that, just go to the solution in here, then go to the app.component.html. So in here now, I will comment out this line because now I don't want to load a specific component. So I don't want to load the app home, app details or app search. Instead, I will just type in here router outlet. And when you use this tag, what it means is that in here, you are going to load whatever component the router module is going to point you to. So for example, if the URL is localhost slash home, then the home component will be loaded. And if it is local host, then slash details, the details component is going to be loaded. So let us just save the change in here and let's go to our app. Here on the app, you can see that now, since I don't have anything in here, the home component is being loaded. If you add home in here and press enter, the same component will be loaded. But if you type details, then the movie details component will be loaded. Now on the movie details, we have the actors section. We have the reviews section. And we also have the similar movies section. And for each section, we have created separate components. So if you go back to the code, you'll see that in here, for example, for the movie details, you have the details component, but then for the actors within the movie details, you have the details actors, then you have details movies, and then details reviews. If you want, you can just come in here and then create in here other definitions for the other components. So for example, for the, let me just scroll up in here, for the details actors, I want to load the 
details actors component for the details movies I want to load the details movies component and then for the details reviews I want to load the details reviews component and as you can see in here imagine you have let's say 50 routes this file is going to get really large that's why it's preferred that you have the route set up in a different file and then just add that file or just configure that file in the app.module.ts so let's just go back to the app and here we have details if i type in here details actors then only the actors will show up and then reviews only the reviews will show up and then movies only the similar movies will show up so let us just go back to the home page and you can see that right now i cannot click this button but i'll make it clickable on the upcoming parts to go to the home page i can simply remove this part press enter and that's it